Sa ating unang laban, nagtagumpay ang St. Clair College Saints kontra sa Diliman College 61-47 to at ngayon naman, ihandog namin sa inyo ang ating pangalawang laban dito sa Luzon, Manila Qualifying Games sa 2014 Philippine Collegiate Champions League live mula dito sa loob ng Faith Gym sa Tanawan City, Batanga. Ang naasku champion, Centro Escolar University, makikipagtagi sa nanggaling kontra sa fourth placers ng NCAA, ang University of Perpetual Health System Delta. Mabuhay Pilipinas at maraming salamat po sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. Ako po ang inyong lingkod, Anton Rojas, joined once again by Christian Ronzon. Salamat, Anton. No? And uh, what a treat we have for you, uh, especially after nung first First game natin, you know, uh, nanalo ang St. Clair, which moves them up, and uh, itong game na to will earn the right to play St. Clair for the next round, papasok ng Elite Eight. Tatlong ko po na na ang eliminate dito sa ating Luzon Manila qualifying games, and at the end of the day, another team will be eliminated. The question is, will it be CEU or will it be Perpetual? And uh, itong game, no, it's really... Hindi natin mapipredict kung sinong uh, mananalo based on talent alone o based on their their roster. Pero alam naman natin ang basketball, kung sino madalas yung mas masipag and sino madalas yung really come to play that day, yun ang mas may chance ang harapin itong St. Clair. At siguro, uh, Christian, merong extra motivation itong uh, kuponan ni Coach Egay Makaraya ang CEO sapagkat kung sakaling mananalo sila dito sa Perpetual, magkakaroon ng naasko rematch kontra sa St. Clair. Definitely. Itong, uh, itong dalawang to, eh, very familiar na with each other. And I'm sure ginamit ni Coach Ega yun as motivation para harapin ulit ang St. Clair. Kahit na nanalo sila dun sa last na liga, they're out to prove na talagang deserving sila sa championship na yun. But syempre, they cannot overlook itong perpetual. Of course, they're going to rely on the key players. Ang naasko MVP, Samboy De Leon. Last year's MVP, Joseph Sedorifa. At syempre, ang kanilang African import na tubong Congo, si Rod Rodrigue Ebondo. Dito talaga magre-rely si Coach Egay for the players na inaasahan niya to appear every game. Pero asahan din natin yung mga players coming off the bench. Nakausap ko si Coach Egay. Ina-expect niya lahat mag-step up. Hindi lang yung mga players na kumbaga kilala na. At dito naman sa kabilang panic, Christian, pag-usapan natin itong kuponan ni Coach Arik Del Rosario na we know Wala na dyan. Hindi na, hindi na kompleto ang three-headed uh, monster nila. Wala na si Jong Baloria, wala na si Harold Alboret Arboleda who is now playing in the pros. Pero nandyan pa rin ang MVP ng NCAA na si Earl Scott Thompson. Every time you have an MVP on your team, you know, the best the, the, the best teams are the, the teams that really they feed off the best players. And uh, itong si Scotty Thompson, obviously a lot is expected from him. Let's see kung magkocontribute yung ibang teammates niya dahil alam natin pag ikaw nire-rely ng opensa padalasan ng opensa eh mas magkukolaps yung depensa sa'yo tingnan natin kung sino mag-step up para sa altas Could it be the team captain Justin Alano or their starting point guard Joel Holangkob? Abangan natin yan dahil sa aming pagbabalik banggana sa pagitan ng altas at scorpions dito lang sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action And this is to be awarded by the PCCL National Director, Mr. Joe Lipa, together with Faith Managing Director, Mr. Juan P. Luzano, and Faith Sports Director, Mr. Lito Arim. And here it goes. Champions League PCCL 2014 National Collegiate Championship, Centro Escolar University, Big Scorpions. Participant, PCCL Luzon Metro Manila Qualifying Games, signed by Reynaldo D. Gamboa, Chairman, Coach Jolie Pa, Executive Director. Congratulations, Centro Escolar University. Once again, congratulations, Central Escolar University. Let's move on to our next awarding. 
Again, this is to be awarded by the PCCL National Director, Mr. Joe Lipa, together with Faith Managing Director, Mr. Juan P. Luzano, and Faith Sports Director, Mr. Lito Arim. And here it goes. Champions League PCCL 2014 National Collegiate Championship, University of Perpetual Health System Delta Altas. Participant PCCL Luzon Metro Manila Qualifying Games, Fourth Placer and CAA. Signed Reynaldo D. Gamboa, Sherman, and Coach Jolipa, Executive Director. Congratulations, University of Perpetual Health System Delta. Once again, congratulations, University of Perpetual Health System Delta, and good luck to both teams. And we are all set for our second matchup here in day number two of the Luzon Manila Qualifying Games dito sa ating ABS-CBN Sports Coverage ng 2014 Philippine Collegiate Champions League Panggan sa pagitan ng CEU at Perpetual Altas. Ito ang starting five ng dalawang kupunan. Number 21, Joseph Sidurifa. Wearing jersey number 7, Joseph Celso. Wearing jersey number 8, Rodrigue Alamo, Christian, mabigat ang starting five nitong Centro Escolar University. Dahil nandiyan ang current MVP ng Naasku, who is Samboy De Leon. At ang last year's MVP na si Joseph Sidurifa, number 21. Rodrigue Ebondo is also there along with point guard. J.K. Casino, na dating player ng Arellano at then kasama nila at center si Celso. Dito naman sa panic ng Perpetual, Joel Holangkob, veteran point guard. Dagangon is there. Gallardo, MVP, Earl Scott Thompson, at syempre ang kanilang uh, team captain na si Justin Alano. So we can expect really an MVP type of game. Itong uh, PCCL, no? As we have the battle of the MVPs in their respective leagues but aside from that though, obviously it's a team basketball is a team play uh, let's see kung sino yung mga teammates ng bawat isa ang magsistep up para dalhin sila sa next number 11 Scott Thompson number 8 contra Samboy De Leon that should be an intriguing matchup as the MVPs collide we are underway J.K. Casino giving it to Samboy De Leon. At ayan na, nagpantayan ng dalawang MVP. Uh, Christian, but they go down low to Rodrigue Ebondo. Na Ebondo hails from the Democratic Republic of Congo. He's an Alfred Aroga type of player. And they're gonna rely on him, especially on his defense, being the anchor of that defense. Everybody, every time somebody drives to the basket, challenge those shots, and really start the fast break every time he gets a rebound. Now, I want to ask you one thing, uh, Christian, about itong makeup ng Kupuna ng Perpetua. Nawala ang kanilang two key players, Jong Baloria and Harold Arboleda. Paano makakapekto yan sa Kupuna ni Coach Arik Del Rosario dito sa PCCL? Ang biglang uh, pagkawala ng dalawang player na yun. Well, definitely, it will affect them, especially just recent lang nawala as they head into the pro ranks, no? But uh, I was able to talk to Coach Arik Del Rosario and uh, two guys that he's really expecting to step up specifically in this ball game is si Coronel and si Galliado. And the reason why he's expecting them because itong dalawang to, kahit na dalawang rookie pa lang, eh, mataas ang expectation sa kanila because ma maganda ang pinakita nila kahit na rookie lang sila nung last NCAA. So itong si Rick Galliardo, number 11, started this game pero si Coronel uh, ang isang player na pumalit sa Manuela Valoria and sa Arboleda. He's wearing jersey number 25. Hindi pa pinapapasok ni Coach Arik Del Rosario who you saw on your screens just a while ago. Polangkok, meanwhile, gets denied by Ebondo. Ebondo is more than an Omar X lookalike. <laughs> and uh, a nice block. You know, we've been talking about him being the anchor of the defense, and uh, that's the proof of why. 
Sumapit si Samboy De Leon. So, pupunta sa free throw line. Itong si Dagangon. Ano mo, partner? First day, uh, excuse me, first name pa lang ni De Leon. Eh, pang MVP na eh. Kilalang kilala naman natin itong si Samboy Lim na dating in... Uh, dating we have to check no if uh, nag MVP siya sa sa pro ranks but uh, regardless kung may MVP award siya o hindi he's an MVP in my eyes kasi ina idol ko yan nung lumalaki ako was Samboy Lim a former Letran Knight former Letran Knight and uh, along with other MVPs tulad ni Willie Miller e bondo nawala ang bola balik sa panic ng perpetual Miscommunication there between Dagangon and Joel Holangkop. Alam mo, this is the final playing year para kay Holangkop at si uh, Justin Alano. And now the leaders of this perpetual squad. Here's Justin Alano denied again by Ebondo. And just great effort by Ebondo, not only with that block, but also running the floor. And uh, naunahan pa niya yung ibang mga kasama niya na kahit guwarda, naunahan niya pang bumaba. Siyempre, ginanahan siya eh. Nakakuha siya ng block. Pangalawang block na niya yan dito sa laban na to. And partner, really, especially for a big man, no? You're cut from the offensive end, you're really coming from the other end of the floor eh. So for a guy na, for a big man na unahan mo, bumaba. Yung mga guards, ah, that's, that really says a lot about your character of running the floor. At syempre, kung ikaw ay kakampi ni Ebondo, may iya ka. Kailangan na uh, sabayan mo siya sa pagtakbo. Oh! 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 Rodriguez Ebondo! Iyan ang sipag! Up high and down hard itong si Ebondo really starting out this game strong with two blocks and a monster dunk. Rodriguez Ebondo, hindi siya nabigyan ng bola sa fast break. Kaya... Biglang tumalon para sa putback na yun. Putback, no? Pero sa kabilang panic naman, Justin Alano scoring. Justin Alano keeping it simple. Kahit na sinasabi niya monster dunk yung kabila, itong layup ko, parehas lang two points. For all, ang ating talaan, Celso, Mintes Antira. Balag ang bola dito sa Perpetual. Bolang Kop. This is a guy who used to play behind Chris Elopre. And look at Ebondo nearly getting to that basketball. Thompson had to pick it up. Unforced turnover there by Bulang Kop. Really no, there was really nobody there to pass it as we see this beautiful follow-up dunk by their anchor, the Borbo. Ito naman yung pambawi ni Justin Alano. Ebondo moves to his left. Linabasang bola, ball swing, ends up in the hands of Sedurifa. Sedurifa able to score and draw a foul. If you're Coach Arik Del Rosario, then uh, you cannot be happy with the last line of defense. Just a uh, poor rotation on the part of the Altas right there. Late, if you want to if you wanna prevent that layup, you got to really help on the block before he gets into the paint to take away that angle. But unfortunately, hindi nilang gawa. Three-point play coming up for CEU. Joseph Sedorifa playing in what could be his final game in a CEU uniform, Christian. So, syempre, extra motivation yan para kay Sedorifa. Last year's na ASCO MVP. He does not want this to be his last game. Definitely, no. It's, it's really mixed emotions every time you're in your final year. You're you're happy in a way that you graduate ka na finally after all those years. But at the same time, nakakalungkot, especially sa... You know, with all those, you're gonna miss all those practices, all those games played, and more importantly, yung off the court, yung pinagsimahan yun ng teammates yun on a daily basis, medyo may iba na yun. And, uh, and really, you said it all, it's really added motivation papasok itong liga na to. Joseph Sedorifa also wants to make up for a quiet performance sa kanyang PCCL debut nung nakaraang taon. He suffered a slight shoulder injury in the Metro Manila qualifying games. Kaya pagdating sa Sweet 16, hindi maganda yung kanyang naging performance. So ito yung kanyang pagkakataon para makabawi. And he's got a better team around him right now. Being that itong CEU two-time na ASCO champions, naglaro pa yan sa Phil Oil. 
Uh, they, they have an improved version of this guy right here, uh, Samboy De Leon, who is now the MVP of Naasku, training the first free throw. And then, si Coach Egay Makaraya. Uh, you had a chance to speak with him before the game, Christian. And uh, it's always a pleasure para interview mga coaches na katulad ni Coach Egay. Na kung titignan nyo siya sa sideline, no? And uh, he's, he's one of those fiery coaches. Pero pag nakausap mo in person, and uh, very mellow. And uh, what a luxury just uh, Coach Egay has, obviously, the two MVPs that we mentioned. But really also, talking to him, sabi niya, we don't rely on our MVPs itself. Uh, we play team basketball. And... Uh, Yun ang inaasahan niya, aside from yung performance and the yeah. MVPs niya. Noong nakaraang taon, itong CEU was eliminated by UE 85-77 to nung naglaban ang dalawang kubunan dito sa Faith Gym. So, they want a better performance here. And their first step of doing that is winning against Perpetual. Thompson from way out, that's an air ball. For a moment there, itong uh, Perpetual help didn't realize that the shot clock was winding down. It was just then that they realized the Sumisigaw now on bench that which forced a, uh, a very poor shot from uh, Perpetual. Thompson still has one more playing year remaining para sa Perpetual Altas. Ebondo. Ebondo against two defenders. Traveling, uh, traveling at Tinawag. Partner, so, hindi ko ma-imagine. Bantayan niya si Ebondo. If you notice that last play, he came from a hand up on the top of the key, driving towards, imagine a 6'8", 6'7", 230, 40 pounds <laughs> driving at you. And uh, fortunate lang ang altas nun. Hindi nakashoot itong si Ebondo. Ebondo, inabangan si Alano. Alano had to change his shot. De Leon, umikot. Pinahanap si Casino. De Leon decides to take matters into his own hands. Bente Santina, balik ang bola sa Perpetual. Samboy De Leon, the new MVP of the Nasty Tournament. Alam mo, lamang na lamang ang CEO pagdating sa offensive rebounds partner 8 offensive rebounds na para sa Scorpions dalawa lamang para sa Altas and it started with how they moved the ball no? we started they started out with dribble handoff race and uh, they're new. you would expect a team like C, uh, CEU if you uh, if it's the first time that you've seen them Normally, ang gagawin ng mga teams na eh, babagsak yung bola sa post eh, kay Bondo. But uh, we're seeing a different kind of uh, system kahit na may malaki sila. They're really moving the ball around and uh, getting others involved. Others are touching the ball. And so, let's just uh, see if they can keep this flow sa kanilang opensa. Samantala, Scotty Thompson nagparamdam na scoring his first field goal dito sa ating laban. Sedo Rifa off the glass and in. Joseph Sedorifa gives his team a six-point lead. Alano. Oh, 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 Ebondo reaching high for that basketball. Casino, umarangkada. Linabas ang bola. Sedorifa, one dribble pull up. Sedorifa knocks it down. See you right now gaining a little momentum as they make two straight baskets. As uh, they're up by eight. 14 to six. Ating talaan. Alano underneath. Alam mo, believe talaga ako dito kay Justin Alano because he's also from the Perpetual High School Basketball Program. When he came in, when he was elevated from the Altalets to the Altas, he was very chubby. I mean, I'll just put it out there. But now he looks like he's in great shape. And now he has worked hard at siya ngayon ang team captain nitong Perpetual. And deservingly so, no? And uh, tulad ng dinescribe mo, and it really says a lot about the character of a player. Every time you realize that you have to change something in your game, you have to change something in your physical uh, strength, and to take it to action para sa aking ibubuti, not only for yourself, but also for the team, that's really a good sign para sa altas. Samboy De Leon able to draw a foul. It's already four offensive rebounds for Samboy De Leon. And on Pure Foods, TJ Combo Play. Yan ang TJ Combo Play, panalo. Just like your favorite hot dog, Pure Foods Tender Juicy, the combination of Casino and 
Jose Gurifa connecting on that play. Aaron Heruta in the ball game now for CEU. And also checking into the game is Alvin Abundo, who is the assist king of the Naasku tournament, number 14. At kasama rin siya sa Mitigal 5 nung nakaraang taon. So imagine that you have a top caliber point guard coming off the bench in Alvin Abundo. Just a great luxury again. <laughs> Para sa ang dami natin mga binabanggit, mga, kumbaga, mga resume ng mga players na to. And uh, let's see if they will come to perform and live up dun sa mga binabanggit natin. Mintis ang tira ni Thompson. Samboy de Leon, hindi na nakita. Si Ilagan, sneaking up from behind. Olivera. Dizon. Ilagan drives baseline. Ilagan spins. Scramble for the loose ball. Thompson could not hold on to it. And if you're perpetual, that's okay. Especially with Abunda on the bench, sitting on the bench. You don't want to settle for jump shots. You want to take it to the basket and see what you can do. And uh, right on cue, ngayon si as we speak, uh, tumakbo papuntang bench. Itong big guy, si Motombo. Aristote Motombo. I wonder if he's going to do the Dikimbe Motombo finger wag. Kumakasupal siya. Again, partner, another player na hindi ako masyadong familiar. So... <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we all know the Kimbe Matomo is just uh, arguably the one of the best shot blocker to ever play this game. Uh, uh, let's see kung uh, ganun din ang laro niya. If he'll live up to his surname. Heruta, mintes sa kanyang tira. Thompson. What a nice. sidestep by Thompson. Everything but the shot. Matombo with the rebound. Just a beautiful Euro step right there. And partner, you said it all. Everything but the shot. Grabe ang numbers nitong si Thompson. Being the MVP of season 90 of the NCAA. 17.4 points per game. And get this, 11.4 rebounds per game. To me, that's the most impressive. Oh, definitely, especially as an MVP. No, Bibira natin makikita yung mga MVPs unless it's a big man. But uh, for a guard to get 11 rebounds, the first person that comes to mind is a uh, typical Jason Kidd but at the 17 points uh, it really says a lot in 17 points and 11 rebounds shows a lot of dimensions sa game niya at may kasama pang 5.8 assists per game at 1.7 steals per game Heruta knocking down the triple that's the first triple of the game for the Scorpions 19-11 ang ating talaan dito Ating first quarter. Alano fakes multiple times. Alano will head to the line for two. That's a foul on Matumbo. Really, the coaching staff of uh, CU right now not very happy in that particular play. Especially if you have a big lineup like this. Somebody uh, inside like that, faking and faking, you just gotta stay on your toes, put up your hands, put up a solid wall, and uh, make him finish over you. Lano missing on the first free throw, though. A hard worker, undersized big man, but he is living proof that if you work hard, uh, you can earn your stripes. Lano emerging as the team captain this year for perpetual help. Second free throw is good for Justin Alano. He's got five points in the game to lead all Altas players in scoring. Less than a minute remaining right now. And uh, Altas changing their defense into a zone. Let's see what uh, CEU comes up with. Mintis ang tira ni Heruta. Rebound, Ilagan. Ilagan, lead pass para kay Thompson. Thompson with a spin. Thompson! Unable to put it down. Was bothered by Matumbo. Abundo to Heruta. Heruta says, let's slow things down and play for what could be the final shot of the first quarter. Coach Egei barking out the play. Abundo to Heruta. Five seconds to shoot. De Leon for three. Samboy De Leon. 
the first dribble of the game for Samboy. So it's a nice cross-court pass, especially with uh, the game clock of the first quarter winding down. It's the open three. We've seen a lot of highlights so far. Rodrigue Epondo with a putback slam. Justin Alano scoring five points already. Last year's NASCO MVP, Joseph Sedorifa, also coming alive. He's got six points. And at the end of one, CEU needs perpetual help. 23 to 12. Dito sa Luzon, Manila qualifying games, the 2014 PCCL. Babalik po ang aksyon dito sa 2014 BCCL Luzon Manila Qualifying Games in our second game here in Day 2 of the this phase of the tournament featuring Perpetual and CEU. And CEU off to a hot start. That's traveling though on Opiso. CEU right now enjoying a 10-point lead and um, not really a good start for uh, Perpetual. They started out on the left side of the court with the triangle offense and a uh, quick shot by Dizon. He got a chance here to put the lead down to single digits. And Christian, uh, you also had an opportunity to speak with Coach Arik Del Rosario before this game. What was his team's mindset coming into this match? Well, although it doesn't show so far at this point of the game, no, but this team is definitely motivated to win this game. Uh, one of the reasons why I say that is because the mentioned the coach Arik, now this is really their fourth stint after playing the LSU NU. Uh, sorry, the third stint here in the PCCL. And uh, sabi niya, I think tama na yung uh, mga talo namin before. And uh, this is a game that they can prove that they belong here. That, that's true. Actually, every year we cover Perpetual Dito sa Faith Gym. Yun nga lang, uh, inaalat sila pagdating dito sa Final 16 ng PCCL. So they want to rewrite the script dito sa pagkakataon na ito. Mintes and layup ni Tagangon who has two points after knocking in two free throws a while ago. Apunto with a scary fall. And an unsportsmanlike foul called. Let's take a look at it one more time. But before that, the Beerfoot's TJ combo play. Yanam TJ combo play. Panalo, just like your favorite hot dog, Beerfoot's tender juicy. The play in the first quarter by Thompson to Alano. Thompson really showing why he's an MVP. You know, we talked about the points, we talked about the rebounds. Showing there, he also has the assist game. And uh, even before that play, when they were running that transition break, oh, the miss lang, no? Pero the pass, a nice lead pass from Scotty Thompson. Now let's see why an unsportsmanlike foul occurred here. That was Alano, who met Abundo. Too collided. And really the correct call by the referee right there. It's a dangerous play, especially where you're up in the air. Hindi mo pwedeng ilabas yung bewang mo para sa lubongin eh. And uh, fortunately for CEU, itong si uh, number 14, si Abundo, eh, hindi na injured sa so, ganang incident. Uh, kumapit siya sa jersey actually ni Alano. Kaya hindi masyadong uh, masama yung pagsak niya. But then, uh, you were mentioning uh, yung uh, inability of Perpetual to win here, particularly in the Faith Gym, looking at my records, last year natalo ang Perpetual. Masakit, three points lang kontra sa NU. And then during the previous year, 2012, Perpetual lost to Lasal. Guess what? By three points again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure matamis pa. <laughs> Ala-ala. <laughs> Hindi lang kay Coach Arik, but, uh, but sa mga players, no? especially the, those who are who, who are maybe in their second or third year here sa team na to. And uh, that's more than enough para, para pumasa pa sa larong ito na motivated ka to play your best. Lala ko pa yun, two years ago. That game went down the wire. It was... Uh, 
Teng Sanity, Jeron Teng versus Jet Sanity, si Jet Vidal. And that was a packed faith gym, and now we have a battle between MVPs naman. Perpetual always figuring in, in some uh, great matchups here in the PCCL. Pantayan in the game now, and he's able to draw foul. Now, Christian, obviously, uh, during your playing years with UST, you played under coach Arik Del Rosario, who is now coaching uh, Perpetual. How was he as a coach, and do you still see the manner in which he was coaching his UST teams here in Perpetual? Well, he's really, he really is a father figure, and uh, I don't think a lot of players get that privilege. You know? uh, in, in coaches, but uh, with Coach Arik, you know, more than teaching you how to play this game, he really cares about you, your well-being, he really cares about you outside of the court. Madalas kami tinatanong niya, pumapasok ka ba, nag-aaral ka ba, diba? And he just goes, you know, the extra mile, kahit na hindi na kailangan. Kaya maraming mga players talaga nagmamahal dyan, especially sa UST community. For USD championships with, with players like uh, Chris Cantonos who now handles the, the women's team and since he entered Perpetua back in NCAA season 88 that was 2012 he's made it to the final four every single year and that's never happened in the history of Perpetual help in the NCAA yung three straight years na nakapasok ang kuponan sa final four that never happened it only happened when Coach Arik came in the only problem is every year sa final four hindi sila makalusot sa San Beda and what an achievement di ba it's really no fluke di ba uh, for, for Coach Arik uh, I'm not surprised uh, especially when they took over him and uh, Coach Lester his son took over this program it, there was really no direction but uh, papunta na lang sa taas eh. and uh, the best is yet to come for this team I know with Scotty Thompson in the hell and also the, the rookies that we mentioned the best is yet to come a 34-25 win loss coaching record para kay Coach Arik Del Rosario in his three seasons sa NCAA with Perpetual and Justin Alano the captain at the line now, knocking in the first free throw. Alano's got eight points in the contest, Christian. Eight quiet points for Alano, no? And uh, right now, let's see what uh, the Altas uh, will do. Because parang naging siso battle tayo, eh. down by eight, down, uh, down by ten, yun, down by seven. Let's see if uh, Sini and team uh, would really push up the tempo, push the tempo and uh, create opportunities of fast break. The lead was as high as 10. Na iba ba ng perpetual dito sa pito. Heruta being hounded by Holangkob. Heruta with a floater. Mintes. Matumbo trying to grab it. Can't get it. Heruta picks it up. Heruta resetting the offense. Abundo. Back to Heruta who swings it to the wing. It goes down to Matumbo. Matumbo gets it back. Pesky defense by perpetual. Oh, oh masyado malakas. Ang tira ni Patino. Holang Kob steps up for three and he knocks it down. That's the second triple of the game for Perpetual. And one thing that CEU is doing, they're really trying to take the ball out of Scotty Thompson's hand. Even from backward pa lang, pagkakuha ng rebound na yun, we saw two guys doubling him. Unfortunately, nobody rotated on that open three. Touch pass, Holang Kob to Thompson who could not handle it. Malas lang itong uh, perpetual dito sa simula ng ating laban as the MVP of the NCAA. Still trying to get his gears going. You really don't mind that turnover, no? Although it's going to be CEU's ball right now. They, they just made a three. They're trying to inch their way back. Uh, it's just a four-point game. Six minutes to go in the second quarter. They have trailed all throughout. Sedorifa swishes that one through. His first triple of the contest. Sedorifa has got eight points. They just ruled it a long two. Just a long two for Sedorifa. 
Sayang naman at uh, siguro medyo mas malaki lang ng konti yung paa ni Sederipa. <laughs> Sayang yung one point but nonetheless it's still a bucket. Sumabit itong si Ruta kaya pupunta sa free throw line itong si Joel Holakko. Panoorin natin itong Pure Foods TJ Combo Play. Yan ang TJ Combo Play. Panalo, just like your favorite hot dog, Pure Foods Tender Juicy. Joel Holakko, the recipient of that pass, knocking down the open triple from the top of the three-point line. But then next year, Christian will also be a transition year para kay Coach Arik Del Rosario dahil uh, ito na ang huling tournament para kay Justin Alano at ang kanyang starting point guard na si Joel Holakop. And uh, that's college life. You know, uh, yeah. It's really a reality that uh, coaches try to try to deny or iwasan pero hindi talaga may iwasan yan eh. and uh, it's really it really boils down to your program kung uh, long term ba siya or short term and looking at the programs uh, altas especially of what they achieve at the helm of coach Arik uh, sa sinasabi nga natin the best is yet to come at eto na nga i mean nawala si Arboleda Valoria merong uh, mga bagong players na biglang pumasok si Colonel at si Mangalino, si Colonel, uh, hindi pa natin nakikita, but then with your talk, based on your talk with Coach Arik, he's a player to watch out for. Heruta for three, and he knocks another one down. Pangalawang three-pointer na ni Heruta dito sa laban na to. They needed that three itong CU, only down by four. They pushed their way up to seven once again. Oh, Justin Alano! able to absorb the contact against Rodrigue Ebondo. And partner, sa akin, ang interesting dun yung after ng play, <laughs> that joker smile that he <laughs> that he expressed kay Ebondo, kahit na nakailang block ka na, I can still make a three-point play on top of you. Ayun. Uh, napatawa itong si Justin Alano. I'm sure uh, you've encountered yeah, yeah. some players before who did that to you. Ano, ano naman yung uh, feeling ko nung nangyayari yun at uh, ano yung ginawa mo para makabawi? Yeah. Well, it's not one of the best feelings in the world, no? <laughs> <laughs> I was able to go up against a lot of 6'9 guys with teammates with 6'9 guys. Guys like Junmar Farhardo in practice na kala mo libreng-libre ka na. But as we go in this timeout, see you up by 5. And they were all seeking... Everybody enjoying the action here inside the First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities Gym. Thank you for having us as we present to you the Luzon Manila qualifying games of the 2014 PCCL. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong panonood. Antoine Ross po, kasama si Christian Luanzon. Bondo, inupo muna ni Coach uh, Egay Makaraya after picking up a foul of that nice drive by Alano. And you just gotta keep attacking, right? Regardless whether it's Abondo or Motombo or whoever bo that's inside. You know, basketball really is a game of percentages. And, uh, you know, the higher percentage shots you get, especially inside the paint, the better chance of uh, of winning yung adjustment of playing the inside-outside game. Eventually, mahuhulog din yung mga shots mo every time you go inside. You know, despite this being a perpetual team that lost two of its key players, they're only down by six. And we're talking about a stacked CEU team. And uh, it, again, it boils down sa programa. Really, the program. Uh, yung mga nakikita natin dito sa loob ng court is, uh, kumbaga, yung surface lang of their program. Eh. But uh, hindi natin nakikita yung mga Team B mm -hmm. or even yung mga new recruits na eventually magsha-show up din. No? And uh, it really boils down sa, sa school program kung ang program mo eh, pang long, long term ba. Mente Santira ni Sagurifa, he picks up the rebound. Jumper, Mintes. Balik ang bola dito sa Perpetual. 
Thompson asking for the ball. They go down low to Alano. Alano backing down. Alano spins. Alano somehow able to throw a shot up. One of the foul did not get it. Sedurifa. Napigilan ng kanyang atake. Binalik kay Sedurifa. Sedurifa with a fake. Sedurifa with a shot. Piti ng kanyang tira. Another offensive rebound para sa Scorpions. Second chance opportunity by the Scorpions. Let's see if they can capitalize and uh, move this lead up to nine. Vargas with a triple. His first field goal of the contest. Meron na siyang apat na puntos. Just a poor job by the Altas right there. After the give, after giving up the offensive rebound, failing to jump fake on the reversal of the ball. Easy three for Again. CEU. Partner, mga tao dito kay Thompson, si Sedorifa. Thompson drives, that's a foul on Sedorifa. Thompson really right now having a sense of urgency, really wanting to finish this quarter strong. I don't think the, I don't think the sub is a partner, eh, but uh, every time he drives that ball to the basket, there's two or three guys really collapsing and really doing a good job of getting to the line. Definitely a marked man itong si Scott Thompson. You know, Thompson had a down year last year because he had some back problems. But uh, he has come back in a big way. Now, I'll, I'll take that. No? Every time you can average 17, 11, and 5. <laughs> Kahit na buong taon ako magka back problems, okay lang. <laughs> Pero syempre, ang... Uh, Gustong makamit ng perpetual dito ay isang panalo sa Faith Gym. Something that has eluded them throughout the past couple of years. Today could be the day. Yep. Uh, we hope all the fans of perpetual are watching right now, cheering their squad on wherever you guys are as Oliveira knocks down that jumper. Nice feed by Aquino, driving to his right, realizing the help. Spins, help comes, easy jumper. Alvin Abundo, he goes down low, that's a foul call. But uh, Pupo does a free throw line. It looks first. Oliveira with that. Jumper off a nice assist. The perpetual just warned for continuous complaining, and Coach Arik Del Rosario gave a funny look to the official stable. <laughs> and uh, that's Coach Arik for you. Yeah, and uh, he adds a lot of flavor into the basketball game. And I'm sure like tataka lang si Coach Arik kung bakit uh, na warning an siya. Actually, mellow pa nga yan, eh, before, technical yan, pero ngayon, uh, at this stage of his uh, coaching career, okay na yan. Thompson saving the basketball from crossing the half-court line. Alano inside. <laughs> Talagang uh, bilib ako dito kay Justin Alano. Undersized, but just a hard worker. He cuts the CU lead down to just three. And uh, babalikan natin yung, foul, yung mga fouls ni Abondo. One of the reasons why nakabalik na to ever since Abondo sat down on the bench. Yeah, Abondo Al with three personal fouls Al already. The Altas have been just uh, impatient, you know, with their half-court offense attacking the basket. And right now, they're just trailing by one. Still looking for their first taste of the lead. If they get a stop right here, a steal for Langkob. A dangerous moment there. <laughs> Lumusot. But the fans to their enjoyment <laughs> being in there. But really, not only a dangerous play, but a poor foul, you know. One mistake cannot add to another. The turnover na, and you give up this foul. He's going to the line. Aquino charged with a personal. As Joel Holankop playing in his final 
Tour of Duty final tournament for for Petwell. At ito na yung uh, mga recruit ng uh, bagong player ni Coach Arik Del Rosario. Uh, mukhang uh, hindi umabot yung kanilang uh, uniform. Kaya wala pang pangalan sa likod ng kanilang mga jersey. But number 25 is Antonio Jeffrey Colonel. And number 23 is Romel Mangalino. Colonel is the player to watch according to your conversation with Coach Arik, right? One of the two na binanggit niya, no? And uh, kahit na ngayon lang to pinasok for a coach para banggitin ka sa expectation na ganun, let's see what he has on the floor. To my mouth muna, si Coach Arik Del Rosario magbabalik po 2014 PCCL. Mahigit isang libong taon na ang nakalimas inupin. Day 2 of the Luzon Manila qualifying games here at the Faith Gym. We still have two more game days to go. And tomorrow, we will be featuring the St. Clair College Saints of Coach Gino Manansala. And they will face the winner of our ongoing matchup right now between CEU and Perpetual. And in the second game tomorrow, ating mapapano, defending PCCL champions, De La Salle University taking on the third placer of the NCAA, JRU. So, maganda mga laban ang ating aabangan dito sa Faith Gym. Live po yan sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. St. Clair really is a team to watch in this leg. You know, especially the way they played earlier. A very convincing victory over Diliman. Pulled away in the, in the third quarter and just took control of the ball game ever since. 61 to 47, the final score of that matchup. So they will await the winner of this one. Meanwhile, we have a foul during that scramble for the loose ball. 36.3 seconds remaining here in the first half. At uh, babalik ang bola dito sa panic ng CEU. CEU right now has a chance to draw up a play and maybe go for a 2 for one situation with 36 remaining. Let's see if uh, Coach Agai goes for it. Another timeout has been called. We'll be back. Inyo pong natuto ngayon ang Faith Gym dito sa lungsod ng Tanawan sa Batangas. Tuloy ang aksyon sa pagitan ng CEU at Perpetual. Ang ating score, 35-32 in favor of the Scorpions. Perpetual still looking for the first taste of the lead, Christian. Yes, and tingnan natin kung uh, CEU can add to their lead right now with this possession. Alvin Abundo. You know, since Abundo came in, hindi na binalik ni Coach uh, Egay Makaraya, starting point guard, na si J.K. Casino. Well, for this game, Casino started, but Abundo is capable of starting the game. He was part of the Mythical Five last year, the Naasku tournament. And with 17.5 seconds remaining, another timeout has been called. We'll be back. As always, the students filling up the stands. We came here early, Christian, uh, more than one hour before the start of the first game. We already saw students sitting down and awaiting tip off. Just proves the excitement that this league gives. No? That uh, it's our second game already, and. Uh, Kung mayroon tayong third and fourth game, malamang nandito pa rin yun na sa ganda ng mga laro natin. So we are inviting everybody to come back here tomorrow because uh, it's a Sunday. I know it's family day, but uh, if you guys love the game of basketball, if you want to have fun, check out the matchups of the PCCL starting at 2 p.m. tomorrow here at the Faith Gym in Tanawan City, Batangas. Or you can just join us on ABS-CBN Sports in Action and watch guys like Joseph Sedorifa shoot the lights out as he knocks down his first triple of the game. He's got 11 points. Coach Arik trying to disrupt that play with a zone. 
unfortunately, they leave a man wide open in the corner. CEU able to go up by six, enjoying a six point lead. 33 32 was the score, but then suddenly CEU going on a five to nothing run to close out the quarter. Kaya naman, lamang sila at the half 38 to 32. You're watching the Luzon Manila qualifying games. This matchup between CEU and Perpetual in 2014, DCCL. Hindi pong napapanood ang 2014 Philippine Collegiate Champions League Luzon Manila qualifying games at the half ang ating score CEU 38-32 para sa Perpetual Altas at Don Rojas po kasama si Christian Luanzon. Ano ba nangyari sa ating first half Christian? Bakit lumamang bigla na malaki itong CEU Scorpions? Well, so far, uh, CEU is really controlling the tempo of the game. And uh, one thing that they're doing a good job on, eh, alam na natin, si Scotty Thompson really likes to run. You know? Every time he gets the ball, patawit pa lang ng half court, nakanda ng help side sa kanya. They want him to give up that, that ball. Kung, baga, kung matatalo sila rito, parang sinasabi nila, taluni na lang kami ng ibang player. So, it's really a challenge for uh, the other guys ng uh, Altas of how they will step up and uh, give help para sa kanilang MVP. And yan nga, Justin Alano stepping up. 13 points to lead all scores dito sa laban to. Starting point guard Joel Holakop also chipping in with 7 points. Para naman sa panic ng CEU, last year's NASCO MVP Joseph Sadorifa leading the way with 11 points. This year's MVP Samboy De Leon with 9. And then of course, Aaron Heruta knocking down 2 triples for a total of 6 points. No surprise with our scorers, no? Especially on, uh, on CEU side, talking about before the game, the 2 MVPs if they can, uh, excuse me, let's see if they can uh, sustain it, especially in the winning half at the third and fourth quarter. Maraming salamat muli sa inyong pagtutok ngayon sa ABS-CBN Sports and Action. This is day number two of the Luzon Manila qualifying games. Earlier today, nanalo ang St. Clair contra sa Diliman College 61-47. to So they advance to the next level of this uh, phase of the tournament, awaiting the winner of this matchup right here. Scotty Thompson on that possession, trying to get himself going, wasting no time, driving to the middle with another Eurostep move. Unfortunately, he doesn't finish the play. Casino back in the ball game. He started this contest but sat for quite a while when Alvin Abundo came in. Casino giving it to Sedorifa on the corner. Sedorifa throwing the ball to the wrong man, pero mananatili ang bola dito sa Manny Good sign on a defensive end by Perpetual Help not right now. Coming up with a lot of deflections leading to this 24-second uh, violation. And these are the things, the small little things that we don't see the stats. You know? Moving your feet, getting deflections, really disrupting the offense. And uh what happened in the sequence, there is no time. Turnover for CEU. Turnovers galore, Christian, to start this third quarter. Also, a turnover on the other side for Perpetua. Patino, the team captain, backing down his defender. Alfred Patino still can't get his game going here in this contest. And right now, Perpetua really looking to push the tempo up. Now, after getting that rebound, a good outlet pass. Hindi lang nakakuha, medyo malakas lang ang pasa para kay Scotty Thompson. Handoff para kay Sedorifa. 38-32 ang ating talaan. Still no points yet here in the third period. Offensive rebound but Celso shuffled his feet. Substitution, Substitution here. Dizon coming in for Polangkob. Heruta still on the floor for CEU. Full court press right now being implied by CEU. Let's see if they can uh, come up with another possession. Corner triple on the way. It is knocked in by Dagangon. 
Five points for the Gangon in this contest. Just a three-point advantage now for CEU. De Leon will try to respond. Bite ng kanyang tira. Dizon, no look pass. Thompson, no wala ang bola. Na recover niya. Thompson throwing it out to a teammate. Gallardo able to pick it up. Thompson. May hawak muli ng bola. Thompson, linabas kay Dagangon. For three. Nothing but air on that shot. Sayang ang pagkakataon para sa perpetua. And a good split on the pick and roll by Scotty Thompson. Again, sucking in the defense. Just giving a timely pass to a guy who just made a three-pointer. I don't mind that shot. Papasok din yan eventually. Still looking for their first taste of the lead. Itong perpetual alta. Spatino looking for his first basket. It does not roll in. Here comes Dizon. Dizon lost control of the ball. And both teams kind of sloppy to start off this game here in the third. Uh, that's one thing that you want to resist or really you want to take care of the basketball as much as you can para you can give opportunities not not only for yourselves pero but really to 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 come out with a with a good win kasi alam naman natin the, the more turnovers you commit yung chance mo para manalo sa ball game lumiliit two points, two points para kay JK Casino who I mentioned a while ago used to play for Arellano University See you right now, really rewarding. The call, ni Coach Ega, you have to go full court as they force a turnover off a sideline. Well, pero to si Dizon Picks makes it up. This is the pick the bucket of Casino. So Perpetual continues to fight. They're employing full court pressure here. Dizon is. His long arms really smacking the ball away from Casino. De Leon, Mentes and Tira, Batino with the offensive rebound. De Leon with another triple. He's been looking for that shot, partner. His last two attempts from the three couldn't connect. But a shooter's mentality by De Leon. If I'm open, I'm going to take it. That's his first triple of the game since the first quarter. Too aggressive on the defensive end. Called for a foul. But you know, the hard worker grabs an offensive rebound. Then it some boy De Leon. And some boy knew exactly what to do with it. And uh, one of the... We talked about the threes earlier. Aside from the transition threes that you can create, obviously from transition, one of the hardest threes to guard is really coming from an uh, offensive rebound. It's a because it depends. Eh? And it's really the presence of mind, Kusinaman, whether it's a guard or a big that gets the offensive rebound to kick the ball out and uh, find those open threes from an offensive rebound. So a while ago on your screens, Coach Lester Del Rosario, the son of Coach Eric. Three seconds, Yeah, what what seems to be lacking, Christian, for, for Perpetual? Why can't they take the lead away from CEU? Well, Altos right now, they have to match your energy ng CEU. So far, inconsistent. Eh. They've been showing good spurts sa game na to. And uh, if there's one thing that a coaches, uh, that the coach preaches, no, you want to be consistent and doing everything. And uh, so far, your energy level nila at this point, medyo mababa. But they have to turn that energy level up a notch here. We still have a lot of basketball to play. Thompson with a spin. Thompson steps back. Piti ng kanyang tira. And the ball will go back the other way. Substitution. Thompson apologizing to the bench. Thompson right there on that play, Kitang Kita. As soon as he had the ball, asking for an isolation on the right side of the court, four white shirt jerseys were in the paint. You know, sinasab nila, just take that jump shot, kesa drumay ka to create for other people. Aaron Heruta, that's three pointer number three for him here in this contest. He has knocked down a triple in each quarter so far. Thompson, nice pass to a teammate. 
And Gallardo is able to score. That's his first field goal of the contest. It's a poor job of uh, recognizing shooters on the floor. Heruta with his third three-pointer. But uh, Scotty Thompson answering right back with a beautiful layup. Abundo, no wala ang bola. Pinasa kay De Leon. De Leon with a floater. Samboy De Leon continues to sizzle here in this game. He's got 14. Definitely one move I believe that every guard should have. You know, especially you know, if you wanna if you wanna advance to the pro ranks, that's what what's one move the teardrop. I'm talking about the teardrop or the floater. I say pagdating mo sa pros or sa malalaking liga, mas malalak na yung mga challenge sa yun. Nakita niyo yung pure food TJ combo play na yon. Abundo para kay Heruta. Yan ang TJ combo play. Panalo, just like your favorite hot dog. Pure Foods, tender, juicy. Dagangon, mintes ang kanyang tira. And now, Rodrigue Ebondo, the guy who started everything for the Scorpions back in the game. He's been saddled with three personal fouls. It's really a challenge personally for him, especially sitting long on the bench. Ang mahirap dyan yung makuha yung second win mo eh. Yung, uh, yung, yung pawis na hinahanap mo, especially the way he started with those blocks and that monster monster dunk. Let's see kung ganun pa rin yung energy level niya. Sa tumalakas ang pasa ni Thompson. You know, Thompson, not the usual numbers. Just four points, five rebounds para kay Scott Thompson. And I give credit to CEU defense. Uh, in this game, kung but so far ganyan palang ang performance ni Scott Thompson. But I expect him, especially papasok ng fourth quarter, no, to really take over the game, to try to take over this game. Three minutes and 56 seconds remaining here in the third. Oliveira could not hold on to the basketball. And look at CEU, they're up by nine, but they're playing full court man to man here. Oh, still here by Alvin Abundo, passing it up ahead, Seduripa. 13 points for Joseph Seduripa. Come on, partner, every time you go full court, bonus na lang kung ke. And uh, ang goal talaga ng full court is really to delay the offense and uh, to take out yung rhythm nila, papasok ng half court offense sila. And uh, good thing they're active yung mga hands nila to force a turnover. And Colonel, ito na. Unang basket para sa kanya, the new recruit for Perpetual. Maybe the spark that uh, Coach Arik is looking for as they're still down by nine with three minutes to go in the third. Antonio Colonel. Ebondo kicks it out. Segurifa, nadulas ang bola. Polankov checking back into the ball game for Perpetual. Abundo hounding Polankov. Oliveira gets it to Thompson. We can see the plays really being executed for Scott Thompson. Mintes at tira ni Polankov na pulot ni Abundo. Great job by CEU as soon as they, the ball screen before it arrived to Scotty Thompson. Wala nang choice si Scotty Scott Thompson but to give up the ball and make others beat you. Nagong bola, Joel Holankob. Ebondo is on him. Holankob hesitating. <laughs> and you can hear the reaction of the crowd. Holankob thinking not twice but thrice. Before deciding to pull that ball back out, meanwhile, nice under goal stab there for Perpetual to cut the lead to seven. Coming from a nice fra pass from the MVP, Scotty Thompson. Heruta faking the pass. Heruta with a spin. Aaron Heruta. Tinawagan parang foul. Itong si Mangalino, pupunta sa free throw line. Itong si Heruta. Miscommunication there on the ball screen. Every time there's a ball screen, as much as possible, no, unless you're forcing them to the baseline, you want that ball handler to go through the screen or over the screen. You want to send him to the help because every time you mo dadalin sa screen yung yung tao mo, it's going to be a breakdown. Results into well, in this case, two free throws. 
We saw that nice pass a while ago by Thompson to Oliveira. Nobody home. But CEU able to establish their biggest lead of the contest at 11 a while ago, 50 to 39. South Division. And you have a fresh Ebondo checking back into the game. At ito, new look sa depensa ng CEU, pero nakalusot agad ang perpetual finding Oliveira in the middle. Walang ko, masyado malakas ang tres. Napulot ni Celso ang bola. Watch out the early seal here by Abondo. Let's see if he goes. No, he goes out right outside. Uh, maganda dito kay Ebondo, partner. He plays within the system. And he's, he knows he's a talented guy, but he doesn't demand the basketball. Even though he has the right to. As Thompson knocks down the triple, that's his first triple of the game. He's got seven points. If you're coach Egai Magarayan right now, that's one guy you don't want to see get going. One of the few open looks Scott Thompson has had in this game. Hindi naman tayo pinahiya, partner. Thompson. And when the stakes are high, that's when he comes alive. Thompson against Ebondo! Ebondo denies! Scott Thompson in the air. And if you're coach Eric, that's okay. You know, we're trying to build momentum. You just made a three-pointer. You have a chance maybe to get a foul or to, to get to the line. But, you know, 6-10 is 6-10. <laughs> and uh, just a nice timely block by Ibondo. Remember, Ibondo's playing with three personal fouls. I'm surprised Thompson didn't try to attack the body of Ibondo. But Ibondo also doing a good job of avoiding the contact. Sedorifa receives the ball up ahead. Sedorifa all the way. Alta's really struggling in the last few minutes to cut this lead down. Every time they would uh, have a basket, may sagot lagi ang CEU. Alano, inside pass. Colonel, eto na. Colonel coming alive. All of his four points scored here in the third. Just great court sense awareness by Alano right there. Nakita niya, dalawa na tumatao sa kanya. You know, with 13 points, recognizing he's been scoring a lot also in this game. A nice pass underneath. You know, Perpetual, with that motivation of trying to get their first win here at Faith Gym, and they were already down by 11. But looking at the score right now, they're just down by 6, so that's just the unwillingness to go down. Epondo shoots it up. That's an air ball, and we still have 0.8 seconds remaining here in the third. Going back to what you said, partner, you're Perpetual, no? The positive side about this, kahit down by six, masama na nilalaro mo, down by six ka lang. So, that's one thing to take away from that. But nonetheless, they really have to get this guy going. Si Scott Thompson showed some glimpses in the third quarter. Let's see what he has in store in the fourth. Sino ang mananaig dito sa ating laban? Will it be CEU or Perpetual? Alamin ang sagot sa pagbabalik sa 2014 PCCL. Handog sa inyo ng ABS-CBN Sports. quarter remains in this matchup between the University of Perpetual Health System Delta and Centro Escolar University. The winner will go on to face St. Clair College who won 61 to 47 earlier against Diliman College. And just like in the first game, Christian, unang umarangkada ang CEU sa first quarter. And uh, that really, from there, they didn't look back na, no? Uh, that's why they're enjoying the six-point lead. Although we, we, were, we, keep, we kept on, kept on saying uh, games are won most of the time or always in the second half. 
not to, dis not to disregard the first and second quarter. That, yan yung point ng game na you really try to dictate the game. You start dictating the game. And obviously, bago mag halftime, you want to get a comfortable lead as, as, as much as possible. Create a rhythm in your offense. Play solid defense. And so far, yan ang pinapakita ng CD. 33-32, that's how close Perpetual came to snatching the lead, but they haven't been able to do that all game long as CEU has led all throughout. Heruta to Epondo. Rodrigo Epondo showing us the touch. Would you believe that's only a second field goal of the game? And I really don't mind that shot, although he made it. Pero mas gusto ko nang yung pinakamalaki kong yung pinakamalaking player ng kabilang team tumitira ng jump shot as we see a nice block of a foul. Si Jose. He just loves to play defense. You can tell. For nine and third, ito tira niya sa Rodrigo Bondo. Really nothing you can do about it. Although it came off a dribble penetration. Defense recovered, gave a good challenge. Ebondo just right now is on a on a high. We gangan. <laughs> we question his uh, energy, especially after sitting on the bench for a long time. Well, he's proving us wrong. All it takes for Ebondo is just one block. Because if he got a block, he would have been able to Remember in the first quarter, he got a block. He would have been able to block. And uh, hindi lang tayo, no? And hindi lang yung mga teammates. Yeah, even the fans here, every time somebody goes for the layup, it's almost expected na itong si Ebondo would come up with a very nice block. Antonio Jeffrey Colonel, just 18 years old. Knocking in the free throw. And in Filipino terms, uh, Batang bata, itong si Coronel, and uh, obviously the future is bright, especially uh, coming from his own coach, Coach Arik. Oh, the player that he mentioned prior to the game. Ebondo showing us the touch. Okay, partner, I take back what I just said. You know? <laughs> Although Ebondo is really showing us he has the touch. Why not? Doing it all for the Scorpions. Stinging the Altas from everywhere on the court. Heruta passing it up ahead. Colonel with a steal. Thompson asking for the ball. He gets it. Thompson for three. Scott Thompson. And he breaks it to double digits. That's his second triple of the game. Just a smart bay by Colonel. You know, a lot of sequences happening. Ball up and down, turnovers. He was very composed to bring that ball down and look for the open man. Give him a nice pass. Pure Fruits TJ combo play. Iyan ang TJ combo play. Panalo, just like your favorite hot dog. Pure Fruits then they're juicy and guy and sinabi ni Chris Chuck Watson. Ang pinakamahirap depensa na three-pointer, yung transition three. But, you know, when you're, when you're trying to get back in the game and the team that you're chasing keeps answering back, it's really a tough task. You cannot exchange baskets. As Scotty Thompson shows us a, just a heat check, trying to lift up his team and uh, trying to get him, not only himself, but really his team going. And uh, really going back to what you said, partner, no? you cannot, especially if you're trailing, you cannot exchange baskets. And uh, especially with eight minutes remaining, nasusubukan yung depensa ng perpetual. Thompson knows it's winning time. That's why he's been calling for the ball here in the fourth quarter. But he can't do it alone, though. His other teammates have to continue chipping in. And even though on that play, a nice dribble penetration beats his man. But then again, Ebondo making a big difference, kick out, force that turnover. CEU with a chance to go double figures in seven minutes. Abundo. De Leon. Heruta pops out on the corner. Six to shoot on the Scorpions' shot clock. 
De Leon's got to let it go. A bolto on the Willan Bola. A lado up ahead. Scott dunks it all the way. Nice call by Coach Arik. Realizing ito si Obondo, nakakadalawang jump shot na. Calls in a 1-2-2 zone. Force the turnover. Let's see, going to adjust with the CEU. Sorry, 2-3. It's a 2-3 zone. Peruta using the Ebondo screen. De Leon fires from the corner. Very short on that shot, but Peruta. Yeah, the break's just going the way of CEU here in the fourth. And the Altas caught ball watching with that play. They didn't expect an air ball. As you see, Dizon trying to cut down the lead to five. At mananatili ang bola dito sa panic ng Perpetual. The action heating up here. Meruta will take a breather as Sedurifa checks back in. Just the problems that uh, CEU or specifically Coach Ega is giving. May isang MVP na siya sa loob. Pinaso pa ang isang MVP. This is a stacked lineup. This is the most stacked CEU lineup I've seen. Samboy De Leon missing. And look at the effort of Abuto to chase down that loose ball. No look pass. Sedurifa from the corner. Joseph Sedurifa. 18 points for him. And what a way to reintroduce yourself after coming from the bench. Sumugot kagad ng three-pointer. And isa comes up with a steal. Joseph Sedorifa, he's been all over the place, giving his squad a 66-55 advantage here in the fourth quarter. These two guys, they know each other so well. That's familiarity for you. Abundo to Sedorifa, two players who were part of the Mythical Five last year. Of course, Sedorifa was the MVP. And look at the defense right here. Sedorifa getting the touch, diving for the loose ball. And a foul called on the Altas. You cannot ask for more, no? And ito, so, nakaw play pa. Joseph Sedoripa, 20 points for him. Wow, what a play. What a play. What a baseline play drawn up by uh, Coach Egay. Oh, that's the block of the game right there. Rodrigue Embondo coming from nowhere. From our angle partner, one two points now, pero medyo ala LeBron James na chase down at the thing coming from oh wait a minute from the other side of the court. That was a goal, and though he hit the board first before Ebondo. Based on that replay, the ball hit the board first. The call still stands, and uh, CEU so far looking to close out this game with a 13-point lead. The free throws that you miss at this point will definitely hurt you. Abundo shielding the ball with his body. Tiyo si Abundo nakabang naman. Abundo got a block, but on the second block he was called for a foul. And look at him. <laughs> You know, I have to check the stats, no, but it feels like he has about 10 bucks in this game. Well, our stat sheet says he has five. <laughs> but, you know, during, iba yung impact niya sa laro, partner, no? Although he has five, but really, it feels like he has more than that. That's why CEU is enjoying this lead so far. Especially kung isasama mo dyan yung mga shots na binago niya. You know, when you have a, a rim protector like Ebondo and you're an offensive player who loves to attack the basket, you you always think about his presence and how you're going to elude his defense. Rodrigue Ebondo, the rebounding king last year in the Naasku tournament. White ball. It's no wonder why, especially in uh, Philippine collegiate basketball today, 
most of the teams, regardless whether it's in the NCAA or the UAP or NASCO, are getting players like this because yung impact nila sa laro, it really translates literally to championships. You know, we've seen it obviously with the UAP, with Aroga, with Sanbeda started out, with the likes of Sam Ekwe. I think Ekwe started it all. Yeah, we're gonna have to double check that, but uh, I, be I from, believe Ekwe from, was the uh, first. From Wala na tayong maiisip kung sino yung nagsimula, no? Pero it's really yung nagiging trend ngayon in uh, college basketball. And not just in Manila, even in the provinces. As Holang Kong, ayo pa rin gumitaw nitong perpetual. Uh, they're still chasing CEU dito. Batino, handoff para kay Sedorifa. Colonel is on him. And that's a foul on Batino. You know, the Scorpions are not out of the woods yet. The Perpetual is a dangerous team, especially with a guy like Thompson. Oh, definitely. In uh, that last play, if you're, if you're the guy giving a screen, you want to establish that screen before your teammate uses it. It's a foul on Sedorifa. That's only the second personal foul on Joseph Sedorifa. Second personal foul for Penalty. Earl Thompson. You know, when he came in as a rookie back in season 87, Yung mga nakasama niya, Chris Elopre, Jet Vidal, Justin Alano was a sophomore during that time, George Allen, Joel Holankob, and now he's the main man for Perpetual. It just goes to show that in college basketball, you know, if you start from the bottom, you can work your way to the top and become the main man for your respective school. Definitely has been personally for the motto of uh, Scott Thompson, yung hard work nga, no? And uh, it pays off. It really pays off. And uh, time out now. And we'll be back with more. Four minutes and 40 seconds remaining here in this matchup between CEU and Perpetual, does Perpetual still have enough to overhaul this nine-point advantage of the Scorpions? Stay tuned to find out. Again, this is a knockout match, and the winner will go on to face St. Clair College tomorrow. Now, normally, when you're in this type of situation, Christian, ano ang sinasabi ng isang coach sa kanyang kupunan you know, trying to motivate him to try to get his team back into the game? Well, you gotta get it one stop at a time as we see as they achieve in this possession. And let's see if they can translate it into a transition three. Yeah, that was a poorly missed shot by Thompson. Probably fatigue starting to set in for Scotty Thompson. I don't think uh, he's been replaced, especially in the second half. Parang wala pang si Scott Thompson, but I, you know, if you're in a do or die game, there's really no room for the word substitution in your head. Especially kung ikaw inaasahan ng mga teammates mo. It's gotta be uh, tough also for Scott Thompson. Dahil uh, biglang nawala yung kanyang mga kasama na si John Baloria and Harold Arboleda. Two players that, well Arboleda is more of a do-it-all guy, but... John Baloria is a guy who can put up numbers on the board. And now, all of a sudden, Thompson is you know, the primary scorer, and he's the only scorer, really. It's got to be tough for him, too. And his team still within striking distance. But just a nine-point advantage for CEU. But Samboy De Leon has other plans. 
Relentless ang pinakita ni De Leon. Especially getting that offensive rebound. Getting it over everyone else. And uh, completing this beautiful three-point play. Samboy De Leon, what a game for him, Christian. Eight rebounds, 16 points. This guy is legit, no? Uh, watching him play, watching him run the floor, watching his readership. You know, he's a guy, he's, he's a legit 6'3 th guy who comes off screens. Future is bright for this young fellow. 22 years old, Samboy De Leon. Kaya lang, hindi na nabuhay yung three-point play. Thompson. Accelerates. Thompson. Bit din ang kanyang tira, but he will have the time for two. His team down by 11. Puso na lang ang pinapakita ni Scott Thompson dito. At uh, really, after that rebound, pushing the ball. And uh, there's just, wala na eh. Kailangan just less than four minutes remaining. Getting himself to the line. Let's see kung uh, kaya nila mag-build ng mini run dito. To give their sense a chance para manalo sa ball game na to. Thompson, with seven points already here in the fourth quarter. In the first three quarters, he scored seven points. Missing though on that second free throw, so his point total remains at 14. Alano has not scored since the second quarter. He's got 13. So, na-expose talaga ang kakulangan sa firepower nitong perpetual dito sa laban na to. While CEU, clicking on all cylinders, Dina Asku MVP drains another jumper. And the Scorpions are looking to deliver the knockout blow as they are up by 12. Now, while we were in the break, Christian, you were telling me about this play right here. What went wrong with the defense of Perpetual? So, number one, no, si Scott Thompson. Hindi dapat sumusundot unless it's a sure steal. Second, uh, every time, we talked about this earlier, every time there's a ball screen, you want to do your best to send him to the screen because that's where the help is. But uh, it results otherwise. A nice crossover move by De Leon. Hits the open jumper. See you up by 12. So the main cogs of CEU coming alive in this game, 20 points for Sedurifa, 18 points for De Leon, Heruta coming off the bench, what a big boost, 13 points for him. And even though Ebondo only has seven for the game, he does have seven rebounds and five blocks. Pero lumalaban pa rin itong perpetual colonel with eight points now. Mental, All scored in the second half. Mental lapse on that uh, defensive possession by CEU. Changing up their defense after a timeout into a zone. Pero masyadong mataas yung zone nila. Resulting to that alley, beautiful alley play. Bantayan, pinasa kay Thompson. Thompson lost the handle. Thompson is asking for a foul. Could not get the call. Good job by De Leon right here. Staying in front. Stripping the basketball. And just stopping that momentum from Scott Thompson. Ebondo is back in the game. Celso knocking in the first free throw. Celso, a very quiet seven points. He started this game. He's got six rebounds. Just a solid game for this guy. Hindi natin siya masyadong nababanggit, no? Pero, you know, the stats says it all. Celso, siya yung, mga, siya yung tipong player na does a lot of things that you won't see on the statue as... We see a nice pass there by Holankov underneath to Bantaya. Trying to give life to this Altas team. And a uh, crucial stop right here. If they really want to get, get back in this ball game, they got to get a stop here. Heruta, marvelous game for him with three triples, 13 points. Naagaw na naman ang bola. Holankov 
Up ahead, Holland Kopp, pinasa pa kay Thompson. Thompson unable to finish on that layup. He will take two free throws. Holland Kopp so far leading this charge, the last two plays with uh, two nice dishes. No, and let's see if uh, Scott Thompson can get himself going to the line. He's missed. He's he missed a couple free throws, splitting his uh, last two trips to the line. 14 points for Thompson. He's approaching his average, though his his NCAA average of 17.4 points per game. But if he's going to continue missing on these gimmies from the free throw line, oh, his team might go down tonight. 15 points for Thompson. We still have 2 minutes and 16 seconds remaining here. Just an 8-point lead for CEU. And those 15 points, partner, are just 15 hard-earned points. Yeah, you, know? you said it. Obviously, Etong CEU was prepared for the, the reigning NCAA MVP. Taking him really, I know 15 points is a lot, but uh, they really took out a lot of rhythm from uh, from Thompson in this game. Oh, what a move by Alvin Abundo. And that was just his first field goal of the game, but it came a very important time. Thompson for three. Bit in. Alano with the offensive rebound. Thompson with a spin. Thompson! That's the fifth foul on Ebondo. You gotta get it to Thompson. Kita kita naman. Pagod na si Thompson. Pero not giving up on the play. Makes a nice spin move. And, um, yeah, partner, that is a foul. He put his hands down. But uh, just like any other player, nine out of ten players, bihira umamin na foul sila. <laughs> Including myself. <laughs> Ebondo, very adamant after that call. But clearly a lot of contact there as we saw on the replay. Ito na, Thompson. Not giving up. Back to the free throw line. But he misses on the first. The partner, possibly, tumatakbo sa isip ng mga altas ngayon. Sana, fourth quarter pa lang, na-foul out ito si Ebondo. No? But, uh... You know, with the uh, 1.40 remaining, down by 10, it's still not over. Coach Egai asking for a timeout, but probably called for it too late as play continues here. Abundo taking as much time away from the clock as possible. With Scott Thompson right now, you got to put pressure on the ball. Abundo looking for a clutch basket, does not get it. No transition defense as Alano scores. And they get a steal right here. Ilagan with his first field goal of the contest at Nabuhay. Upper Metwell dito sa dulo ng ating fourth quarter. Nice sequences, the last two sequences by the Atas right here. Getting a stop, getting an easy layup, giving a chance for their full court to set up, and again, another three-point play. And John Ilagan will shoot the bonus free throw after this. Sisi Pana, ang bagong generasyon ng Pinoy football. Mula sa iba't ibang bahagi ng bansa. Mapalad ang mga napili para sa PFF Clear National Aspirants Camp. Mga players mula sa Luzon, Visayas at Mindanao na nagsama-sama dahil sa kanilang passion para sa football. Sports Unlimited. Ngayong linggo, 9 p.m. sa ABS-CBN Sports in Action. Play hard! With a minute and 40 remaining, the lead of CEU was 10 points, 75 to 65. That was the moment when Thompson drew the fifth and final foul of Ebondo. And what happened? 
31 seconds later. Ito, the 10 point lead was cut into half. And uh, just shows that basketball is only over until the final buzzer, no? And uh, number seven right now. Ilagan has a chance to cut it into a one possession ball game. Oh, sorry. Still a two possession with only one free throw. It is a free throw. Napulot ni Batino. Look at the pressure of the Altas. Abundo up ahead to Sedurifa. Sedurifa to De Leon. De Leon is blocked. De Leon was blocked by Colonel and Batino with a steal. That was a crucial steal by the captain, Batino. Watch out for the trap in the corner. Oh, that's a foul called on Batayan. Wasted opportunity there by Perpetual. They had a chance to drop in the corner. Medyo naging over-aggressive lang. You know, might have gotten a steal out of that. What a block by Colonel. Batayan with an errant pass. Nabasa ni Batino. Wag po kayong alis. Magbabalik po 2014 PCCL. You know, it's 5.45 in the afternoon. And we still have some very active students here inside the First Asia Institute of Technology and Humanities gym enjoying this matchup between CEU and Perpetual that's going down to the wire. Heruta will shoot two very important free throws. He's played a splendid game, three triples, 13 points for this shooting guard who came off the bench but he misses on the first. And right now after this free throw, make or miss. If you're CEU, you want to run back right away. Obviously, Perpetua is going to look to attack and look for that three-point shot. Pasok ang palawang free throw ni Aaron Heruta. 14 points for him. Thompson with a drive. Thompson, the ball is loose, and the ball will stay with Perpetual. Sedurifa could not keep his balance. A lot of time right now for Perpetual to make an, an inbound play, a baseline inbound play. Let's see if they can set up their MVP, Scott Thompson, with an open look. Coach Egei Makaraya just came over to the scorer's table. He says if Perpetual makes a basket, he will use his last time out. Better watch out for Scott Thompson going to the strong side in the corner right here. And the big guy is rolling. Let's see how CEU... Let's see how CEU fights through the screens. And there is a chant going on here. I can't tell if the students are chanting CEU or Perpetua. I think it's Anton Rojas. You know, my partner. <laughs> it's a lob pass for Colonel. He throws it back out to Thompson. Oh, Thompson lost the ball. A crucial steal by Aaron Heruta. What a game for him. This is a nice defensive stop by CEU. For a moment there, parang alley play mangyayari of an inbound. But nonetheless, they get the ball in their MVP. Tries to draw the foul. He thought he was fouled. Nonetheless. We have two free throws coming up for CEU, for Hiruta. What a game for Aaron Hiruta. Not just on the offensive end, that's probably the most important steal of the contest. And we have... A new player coming in for the first time here in this game, Keith Pido. Let's see what this uh, what 
this player, Pido, has uh, in the last 29 seconds, obviously a crucial stage of this game. Mente Santira de Heruta. Rebound, Colonel and Batino. Coming up with a near steal in Lagan, bothered. And Babalik Ambola. So CEU and with 20.5 seconds remaining here in the game, it does not look bright for Perpetual. De Leon right there showing why he's the MVP, making an MVP defensive play, not giving up on the play. He goes down and challenges the shot. Results into another possession for them in this part of the game. Both coaches still have one timeout each remaining. As Keith Pido, who just checked into the game, fouls Heruta again. Perpet will have their moments, partner, but just unable to capitalize and get over the hump. And I believe it was the really the game of uh, Ebondo that really made a big difference in this game. Every time Perpetual would make a run, especially when Ebondo was on the bench, every time he would come in, he would just make his presence felt. Perpetual uses its final timeout. Nineteen point seven seconds. That is the time remaining in this matchup between CEU and Perpetual. Once again, we'd like to thank everybody for joining us on ABS-CBN Sports in Action for day two of the Luzon Manila qualifying games. Great matchups today. First game, St. Clair defeating Diliman College 61 to 47. CEU trying to close the show here against Perpetual. Peruta missing on the second free throw. The ball will stay with Perpetual. Perpetual has no more timeouts. See you right now. Better anticipate that three. Ilagan. This shot too strong. Thompson with the offensive rebound. Thompson will head to the line for two. Seven rebounds for Thompson. Sedurifa though, a marvelous game. 20 points for him. And he had to guard said uh, he had to guard Thompson. 17 for Thompson. And he surpasses his average of 17.4 points per contest. And Coach Ege again wanting a timeout but unable to call it in time. And that will do it. Centro Escolar University advances to the next level here in the Luzon Manila qualifying games after vanquishing the fourth placers of the NCAA University of Perpetual Health System Dalta. All around effort for CEU Perpetual put up a good fight, but just not enough firepower to match that of the Scorpions. Well, ever since uh, CEU picked it up uh, in the second quarter, no? uh, really, they never really looked back. Itong, uh, Perpetual had short spurts during during the course of the game. Pero, there was all, uh, as pinag-uusapan nga natin, partner, eh, laging may sagot. Itong CEU, every time they would try to make a run. And a hard-earned victory by CEU here. At sinabi mo nga kanina, Christian, feeling mo, Ang uh, pinakamalaking uh, factor para sa CEO ay yung presence ni Rodrigue Ebondo. What a game for him. No doubt about it. From the from the very first play of the ball game hanggang nung last play, even nung na-foul out siya, okay lang sa akin yun dahil itong, itong si Ebondo, he made his presence felt not only with blocking shots but really challenging them and made his, his two crucial jump shots. So we're really... Two crucial jump shots because ito yung naging 10 point lead yung lamang nila and we all know that monster dunk back in the first quarter. That really set the tone for CEU in the entire game. Rodriguez Ebondo, five blocks and 
CEU advances. Ito yung pinag-uusapan natin in the first game. Christian, the possibility that CEU would once again face their rivals in the Neasco tournament, ang St. Clair College Saints. Ayan na, maglalaban na ulit sila bukas. So you can expect another matchup na inaabangan ng mga tao, no? all the students from St. Clair and CEU and also the mga viewers natin all over the Philippines. Let's wait for that tomorrow. And also tomorrow in our second game, defending PCCL champion, De La Salle University Green Archers will face the third placers of the NCAA, Jose Rizal University. Christian, great work to be working with you for the first time. And uh, your thoughts on these matchups today? So, kitang kita natin yung quality ng basketball of uh, the, the two games that we saw today. No? And really, the sky's the limit, especially for Philippine basketball. Obviously, starting with uh, the national team. And uh, lahat naman yun nagsisimula sa ganitong stage ng, uh, ng Philippine basketball. And we've seen players who have really the potential to really to, to, to get to that next level and improve Philippine basketball at its best. Uh, once again, St. Clair and CU advancing to the next phase of the Luzon Manila qualifying games for direct Al Neri, Christian Ronzon, and everybody who make up ABS CBN Sports. I'm Anton Ross saying see you all again tomorrow right back here at the Faith Gym in Tanawan City, Batangas for day three of the Luzon Manila qualifying games of the 2014 Philippine Collegiate Champions League.